Hello dear Scorpios and welcome to your August 2022 readings with me. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe. Let's see what's in store for Scorpio Sun, Moon and Rising in this month of August. August. <laughs> you get what I mean to say. <laughs> yes, because there is something that is happening this month <laughs> and you have to deal with it, okay? And um, well, first of all, let me start by apology apologizing. There's going to be a bit of a background sound because I've put the fans on. Otherwise, you would say, see me melting like a candle right in front of you. It's extremely hot here, 40, 41 degrees outside. Very, very hot. So please bear with me this time with the background sound, okay? So let's get started. And how do we start with the sword? We start, my dear Scorpios. And Scorpio is like, no, 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 no. Why again this? Why is this happening again with us? Well, it's happening again with you because the energy is as such. And you are hypersensitive people. And what happens is that the hypersensitivity gets provoked very fast. And this is what is happening in the first week. Lot of antagonism is there. Lot of contradiction is appearing in the first week. There can be conflicts with people closest to you. Hmm? Or at workplace also or with some kind of administrative people also. You can have a conflict, my dear Scorpios. There can be certain things related to papers also. That, oh, we had to pay... We had to pay these bills, we had to, you know, submit those papers and it didn't happen on time. And then you're realizing like, wow, now it has all appeared at the same time. And then, you know, you get worked up. This kind of energy is also seen for some of the Scorpios. And I'm also seeing my dear Scorpios is that there is a real, uh, you know, conflicting energy. So keep your cool uh, as far as you can because this energy is again continuing in the second week also. In the second week, I'm seeing this kind of energies again there. For some of you, it's something related to administration. Okay, like you have submitted some papers and you're waiting for some results. It can be for Scorpio students. It's like they're not getting any answers soon. So they are really worrying about things like we have submitted the papers since so long and now we are not getting anything. While for the others it is regarding uh, maybe the house loans, uh, maybe it is some kind of, uh, you know, that you are owing money to someone and you want it back and you are waiting and they are not giving it to you. So these kind of problems can also be seen. All in all, I am also seeing in you a kind of a Gemini mind <laughs> taking place inside of you. Because I am seeing a constant duality that is there. It's like maybe there is some kind of a argument or a, a conflict or a difference of opinion, heated difference of opinion that takes place between you and your very close family members or loved ones or, you know, it can be your friends or your uh, your work people also. And over here, my dear Scorpios, I'm seeing is that this, you know, when you are actually fighting for a cause over here, you feel you are, you know, uh, you trying to make your point, but at the same time inside of you, you know that somewhere I am wrong. And I shouldn't have done this. So there can be some kind of a duality inside of you. There is a kind of a tug of war. Is that maybe I am on the wrong side. Or or if you are siding someone who is wrong. And you know that they are wrong. Uh, but you are still siding them. So you see there is going to be some kind of a duality over here. That is going to take place. It can also happen that you get an offer, a job offer or something and then again you, you might have two things to deal with in a relationship likewise two things to deal with so it's like getting into the real Gemini state you know and you will know how it feels to be a Gemini then <laughs> my dear Scorpios yeah so uh, that you will know that how it is to be all the time in double minds you know like whether I do this or I do that you know and that's really um, disturbing and destabilizing energy I feel because what happens is that when we are in this, you know, we never come to a decision or a conclusion. We just keep on being pulled in two directions. And this can happen with you in the second week, alright? So use your 
power to see through things my dear Scorpios that is that power that has been given to you so look at it you know in a different way look through it and see what you want in a particular situation what is your aim it is is it about winning an argument is it about winning something and then what is the price you will have to pay for winning that that also you will have to consider because the second week I see that there is going to be a provocative energy there is some kind of a provocation there's some kind of a rivalry also that can you know come up and you didn't know that you know like oh it's going to catch you by surprise for some of you you might almost feel betrayed also on certain points my dear Scorpio so deal with it properly and I'm, I'm seeing that there is something related to home and family that can happen at this point of time there can be some challenges around this field especially even work wise also I'm seeing why I'm saying that because in the third week we are going to the home energy and as I'm seeing these energies before I see some kind of impact that it is you know having on your family life it can have on your relationship it can have on your work also all right so just be careful in the first two weeks of how you deal with things because you know uh, things now that you do are going to be written not in sand but in stone and that will stay for very long so make sure what you want uh, to be written for a very very long time okay the wind will come and not blow away the sand uh, whatever you write in sand is blown away but here it is going to be itched on a stone so make sure what you say is the right thing and do the right thing at this point of time all right my dear Scorpios and then we are as I said we are going to the third week it is all about the home family so your focus is going to be upon your home and family or maybe you are just coming home after a long vacation or maybe you are changing uh, your residence you are moving to a new place maybe you are signing contract for a new home or you are deciding to buy a new home at this point of time it is also meaning here in the third week is that this energy is all about uh, having a, a new job place also either you're working from home or your department has changed or your workplace has changed something related to that also can occur in the third week my dear Scorpios and I'm also seeing lot of introspection happening deep inside to feel at home you're introspecting inside of you like it's a real deep introspection that is happening for some of the Scorpios at this point of time this is what I'm seeing my dear Scorpios and for some of you you're going to be doing works uh, around your home there are some things to be done renovations refurnishing or selling off some um, uh, some piece of land or home this is what is seeing some kind of a uh, you know a property that you wanted to sell and uh, this is what I'm seeing or there can be some kind of a, a event that takes place in your house also there is some celebration for some of you in the third week of uh, August that is what is happening and I'm also seeing for some of you that some of you are also visiting some government buildings also regarding your paperwork and as I said the second first and second week so be be uh, patient <laughs> because uh, things might take time and you might lose your patience over here all right and if you're a doctor keep your patience <laughs> so this is how it is going to be yeah and um, I'm also seeing for some of you is that um, your home energies have to be protected okay I'm just getting that feeling that there is something in the home energy that means to be protected do some kind of energy cleaning of your homes also otherwise you know like sometimes we feel overwhelmed and as it is the first two weeks are going to be a bit charged with a lot of this energy of give it back lash out you know so the third week just maintain the peace in your house that's very very precious than any anything on this earth right and then we go to the last week's energy and last week's energy I'm seeing Scorpios are very busy maybe they have received a letter of significant importance regarding some informations that were missing pieces of the puzzle and now it can help you to figure out uh, the situation that you're dealing with it can be related to the matters of heart 
can be related to the matters of your profession, a particular partnership that you wanted to start on a career level or professionally speaking, collaborating with someone. Uh, so there is an important piece of information that can come in at this point of time. I see Scorpios communicating in different ways in the last week. It can be through right, written messages, messages. it can be um, through poems. Uh, their heart wants to pour out, so you're just writing poems and making people, you know, uh, listen to them and, you know, like, um, rather I would say read them and uh, listen to your heart's voice, what you're pouring on the paper, uh, your emotions that you are, you know, making known to everyone. And then you can also be communicating on your phone, on your text messages, also emailing. So there's a lot of some energy of communication happening here and these communications are very essential uh, at this point of time my dear Scorpios because you need to I would say you need to clarify certain things uh, some people are confused okay you know what I'm speaking about some people are confused about that behavior of yours is a bit offbeat to them and so you need to open up and communicate of what you really are feeling and what is the reason behind that. They will want the root cause of things. So you will have to convey it to them by just being understanding towards them. No judgments, only understanding is going to work over here, my dear Scorpios. Okay, so I thank you, my dear Scorpios, for listening. Please do like, share and comment and know that when there is a conflict, you know, it's a wonderful opportunity actually to grow. Because what happens in a conflict, take a very good look when you get into a conflict with people. What happens is that you get different perspectives, okay, of a particular situation. That might not be like you are, okay. Like for example, I'm having a problem with someone because some maybe some fights have taken place, some arguments have taken place. But I have my strong opinions and I don't want to budge, okay? And the people in front also have their strong opinions and they don't want to budge. So there you need to take every person's point of view into consideration, like why people do certain things. Because there is always some kind of root cause for that and that root cause can be protection, it can be insecurities, it can be jealousy, it can be outright that, okay, I don't have any reason, I just like to contradict. There are some people like that also who do that. So try to understand that and deal with the particular situation, okay? So don't get closed or don't get harsh with yourself and with others. Just try to I would say try to become the psychologist at this point of time and I'll try to understand uh, them, my dear Scorpios, okay? So thank you for listening. Please do like, share and comment and I shall see you next month. Until then, take good care of yourself.